What's up guys, Brick the Rat here. Welcome back to the Top Crops, where I go over the best Iowa Melee has to offer. This season saw our toughest competitors yet going as hard as physically possible to get on this list, making our PR the strongest it's been in a very long time, with even our player spotlights being so very close to making the main list. Without further delay, here are the Top Crops of Summer 2023. Our first player spotlight in current number 12 goes to Doof. Doof took the first half of the year off, but showed up to the first tournament in the Homebrewed series in July, and won the whole thing after being sent to losers and winners semis by Cyrex, beating Species, Dysfunctional, and double eliminating the Yoshi who sent him down there. Since then, he's won seven more Homebrewds, while taking wins over Tienda, Onoen, Space Jam, and O. If this shirtless Twitter farmer keeps it up at this rate, we might just see him on the main 10 next season. Downer! Doof crazy. Our second player spotlight in current number 11 goes to Fool Sauce. Last top crop, I said Full Sauce had great potential, and this season he's showing up, getting his first PR wins from Iowa, Kansas, and getting second at For Now Please Walk. With wins over Rookie Cookie, Doof, Mooj, Bobby Tito, Silly Pro, and G-Dubs, as well as going Game 5 with Slow King, Full Sauce will continue to climb up, and it's just an inevitability that'll end up on the main 10. Starting off our main PR, we have Captain Blade, a new face on Iowa's PR. Coming from California, the captain has docked his ship on the Mississippi River and decided to challenge the best of us to duels and is looking to raise his flag in victory. With wins over Kef, Onoen, and Diggles, as well as winning for now please walk over the likes of Zyko, Bobby Tito, and Full Sauce, Blade's Blade will continually decapitate capping captains for as long as he stays in Iowa. <laughs> That's how it ends! <laughs> No way! Returning to the melee PR for the first time in four years, we have Soth. This immaculate Ivysaur barely made activity requirements to be ranked by only entering four melee tournaments this season. With a devastating fox and pocket Mewtwo to match up check the underprepared, Soth would snag wins off Spicy, Rock Lobster, Doof, Space Jam, Card, and CBB, proving that even though he's somewhat inactive, even though melee isn't even his main game, when he climbs up out of whatever chamber he lays dormant in, he will mess you up on the sticks if you're not ready for him. Next up, we have a mainstay for this list in Space Jam. This spacey continues to grind Iowa City's LHCH, winning 9 of them over the region's best of the best, as well as attending his first out-of-state regional at Invincible 7, where he would have a competitive Game 5 set with P-plus legend Metroid. With wins over Doof, Full Sauce, G-Dubs, Diggles, and CBB, if this blaster wielder decides to enter more tournaments in Des Moines and out-of-state, he'll rise up from this seemingly permalock position on 8th of the PR. Next, we have our first of a pair of Ices in Boygan. Boygan's best run would have to be his Who's on Ledge 3 run, where he only lost to CBB and beat Durhoon, Diggles, Bobby Tito, and Koala. The Ices main has also shown us that it's not just the Cleek Commanders we should worry about, but also his Spacey Shredding Doctor, where he went Game 5 with Sloking Online. With additional wins over Captain Blade, Card, CBB, and Maple, even at number 7 this season, Boygan shows that he's not to be trifled with. Back better than he's ever been, we have O. O was only number 9 last season due to mild inactivity, but this season, O dedicated himself to the craft of clipping in Iowa and Wisconsin. Most notably, there's his Cream City Convergence run, where he got 7, beating Mundungu, Squizzage, and CBB. He also beat Marcado and Super Mr. JMT at Invincible 7, with additional home court wins over Full Sauce, Space Jam, and Diggles. Whatever state this like farmer is in, you better pray you don't fight him in your bracket, because you will be posted on Twitter later. Back up to the top half of the PR, we have Card. After last season where he placed 7 on the PR, Card decided to get back to his former glory. Easily the best and only PR tough in the state, Card has shown us that even if he falls down a little, he still has plenty of jumps left to get back. With multiple wins over G-Dubs, Diggles, Maple, and his brother Slowkick, as well as 3-stocking Wizrope at Invincible 7 this season, Card came in with pocket aces, showed his hand, and scooped the pot. I'm so nervous. Yo, that's it! Yes! That's, that's it! Right! That's, that's right! it! <laughs> and Card! Confidently takes a game off Wizro. First with Falco, now again with Fox. Coming in at number four, we have Diggles. The numbers guy has proven he can be top four in the state no matter the spacey. The big reason for Diggles' placement being so high is his out of state gameplay. Going to Cream City Convergence, where he would overtake Love Story Fora and Lord English to get ninth at the stacked ass regional. His in state results weren't too shabby either, with multiple wins over Soth, Boygan, and Card, while also nabbing sets over Space Jam, Bobby Tito, CBB, Sloking, and he even told KJH about the Fortnite combo, which definitely moves him up a spot on the PR in my book. The best fox in Iowa for five seasons in a row, we have CBB. Even if Colden doesn't believe in himself, the entire population of Fox Gang will more than make up for it. 
His rap sheet for this season goes too deep to list, but I'll definitely try. With multiple wins over G-Dubs, Soth, Space Jam, Diggles, Maple, and Boygan, as well as clinching wins over Landon, Slowking, Unsure, and Marcado, this bear of board won't stop being the fox we all strive for. That's it! Wow. Fourth seed, Dave? Fourth? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> fuck cool, baby! Oh, Boygan over me, brother! <laughs> Rising even higher, knocking on the top 100 door, we have Maple. Maple seriously could be the next Iowa player to be on the national rankings with how competitive he is versus number 90, that's Slowking for all you non-Iowans watching, and how he seems to have a roaring fan base already in the Twitch chat whenever he's on screen. Maple has that X factor that can propel him to be at the top of the game as we know it. With multiple wins over Diggles, Card, Boygan, CBB, and Slowking, as well as out-of-state wins over Landon, Captain Crack, Game Boy Jr., Fess, Lil Malaria, Hank, and Elklid, there is not an argument to be made over whether or not Maple deserves to be in this spot on our PR. Oh, grab relatively close to the edge of the stage. What's he throwing? Freeze. We going to set two on on game fizzy. Our stagnant number one forever. We have Slokit, 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 Slokit. I, I, I have to put an end to this. He's been number one for too long. He, he's got everyone else's number and no one has his. I can stop this. I can, I can stop this. Let's get the Funkometer on stream. No <laughs> fun. Can we get a this is the place. This is where I can make a change. I can change everything here. I wonder if he can hear me. <laughs> this could be death though. Strong tech chase. Up air. We'll yeah, up air. Sure. Right. Oh, this is it. Gets the, gets the backup climber back. He's coming down. See if he can get an opening. Oh, already oh. a knockdown. Uh oh. Okay, didn't get much off the. Oh, three, two. With in state wins over Maple, Slow King, and out of state wins over Wevins, Ossify, B Bats, Ben, Logan, and Eddie Mexico, it's clear why Boygan has been number one in Iowa for all of 2023. Thank you for watching. Shoutouts to Iowa Melee for always having competitive sets to watch, and stay tuned for SD Iowa 4, our in-state summit, coming this January. I'm Rat Funk, and I'll see you all next time. Peace. And there it wow. is. In Boy, with the 30 clip.